Welcome to Dino and Dan. So, another delicious staple of summertime is hot dogs. And tonight I'm going to show you how to make the most famous hot dog sauce of all, Coney Island chili sauce. Okay, so to start this dish, we're going to take a uh, frying pan on medium heat. We're going to take a pound of ground beef, add that to it. You want to break that up really fine. Keep keep breaking it up as you're cooking it. Right now I'm gonna spread it out, break it up as much as I can, and then we'll wait for this pan to heat up and start cooking it. And it definitely get a lot easier to break up as it's cooking. Okay, as soon as it pan heats up and the meat starts to start to sizzle you want to take uh, one yellow onion put that in there and continue to break this meat up and stir this all up real well together Continue to stir this and like I said, break the meat up as often as possible, fairly frequently. Okay, once that meat's all brown and the onions are softened. We're going to drain the excess grease out of that. Okay. To that we're going to add three quarter cup ketchup. Okay. Two tablespoons of sugar. tablespoon of chili powder One tablespoon of white vinegar. A tablespoon of prepared mustard. So I want a half teaspoon of celery salt. Half teaspoon of black pepper. And a half teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Screw that up real well. Once we 
we have that stirred up, we're going to turn it down to low. We're going to simmer that for probably a couple hours. We're going to watch it. Make sure it doesn't burn, it doesn't dry out. If it does dry out, we can add some water to it or whatever. But basically, you just want it to basically slow simmer, get all them flavors combined. And come back a couple hours and we'll check it out. chili dog, chili sauce, put that on a hot dog, toasty butter bun, mm. got yourself a classic. Throw some cheddar cheese on top of that. You take a diced white onion, put some of that on there, put mustard on it if you'd like. Some people like to put a pickle relish on it. It's a matter of taste, a matter of opinion, matter of taste. I really I don't like mixing chili with pickle relish, sauerkraut. I've seen people put chili and sauerkraut on a hot dog. To me that's kind of taboo. But again, it's your dog, your choice. So, anyway, if you like this recipe, you want to try it out for yourself, I'll put it down in the description below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. I mean, leave any comments you like down in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I want to thank you for stopping by. Hope to see you again soon.